Welcome to this video. We are talking today about the new Alfresco admin application. This application is a complement for the uh, Alfresco Digital Workspace, that is the ADF, the new UI used for the uh, enterprise version of the product. If uh, you want to test that, you may be using this uh, Alfresco ACS deployment project on the Docker Compose folder you have the latest Docker Compose and inside this Docker Compose, you can find this new application. So the new application, it's internally uh, named as Control Center. It's available in Quai.io. Uh, remember that you need credentials in order to access uh, this Docker image as is an enterprise Docker image. So uh, you need to be logged in Quai in quite.io so this application is also used in the proxy so the proxy is exposing the application by using the standard port 8080 if we go back to the browser we can log into this application by using the admin context this application is intended uh, to be the, um, the central control uh, management for um, identities in both Alfresco uh, content services and Alfresco process services products. So uh, you can just log with your Alfresco credentials. And by now, we have only that identity uh, sections with the users and the groups. So uh, this is uh, giving you, according to the configuration, only the ECM. So ECM is the Alfresco Content Services, the ACS uh, repository, users and groups. So you have the, the user list with all the different uh, properties. You have also the different groups. And this uh, will provide you the basic uh, operations you can do with a uh, user. So for instance, you can view all the information of the, of the user, including the groups, and you can uh, edit some properties uh, for the user. If you want to add this user to a new group, you can just uh, click on that and uh, create and choose the, the group you want to assign to this user. And on the group section, you have also the groups with this option to add a new subgroup inside this group or uh, just editing the group details. So this is a basic application. It will be evolving in the future, but this uh, gives you uh, the basic features that currently were only available in the legacy UI in the SER web application. Let's see now uh, how to uh, disable this application if you just want uh, to test the latest uh, ACS experience, but uh, without the new application that is still being evolved. If you don't want to deploy this admin application in your testing environment, just starting with the same uh, Docker Compose, we need to uh, comment uh, the service, uh, the Docker image at this point, so we can comment also this, uh, these lines, but also remember that this application is linked to the uh, proxy uh, Docker uh, image. So in this case, we need to also uh, comment all the depends and the links and add in this disabled control center. So the proxy is not trying to proxy the control center, the Alfresco admin application uh, by their own. Remember that we are using this ACS ingress that is exactly this Alfresco ACS engines, Docker image. You have this project and you can uh, disable all the services that you don't need to be exposed. So once we have deployed that, 
just commenting uh, the service we don't want to deploy and also disabling uh, the service uh, in the nginx proxy the application won't be available anymore yes let's check that so the application is not working but remember that we are still able to manage uh, users and groups by using the legacy ser ui application the same thing applies to community deployments since the uh, admin application is still not available for community then you need to use this ser application in order to uh, manage your groups and users for that you just need to log in the ser uh, web application and inside the application you have uh, the same uh, features uh, for groups and users we are providing with the new admin application so yes let's wait for sir uh, to start and let's uh, check out the future insert web application you have the admin tools page and inside this admin tool page uh, let me click that again inside the admin tools page you have also the users and the groups feature under the user and groups section you have uh, exactly the same operations we are providing with the new uh, web application with the difference that this is only applied to ACS to the repository while in the new application you will be able to manage users and groups for both ACS and APS application. I hope that was useful for you. This was the presentation of the new application of the new UI uh, managing user and groups and uh, see you next time.